This little box is a GPS logger. Inside the box is an Arduino Nano, a SD card reader writer and a GPS module BN880 or BN220. The box will log onto the SD card the position as indicated by the GPS module. The switch will turn it on, the LED will light and the little black button is to stop logging. When the switch is turned on, as I say, the LED lights permanently until a fix is obtained, at which point the LED will flash on and off for as long as the GPS fix is good. Inside the box we see the Arduino Nano, the SD card reader writer, and the GPS module. The Arduino Nano is running a lightweight library that I wrote in C++ to parse the GPS NMEA sentences. Uh, there is adequate memory space for this library plus the SD card library and the sketch on the Arduino Nano. When the GPS gets a good fix, the Nano will store a KML header file to the SD card followed by the GPS coordinates. When the black button is pressed to end the GPS logging, the Nano will store a KML footer file to the SD card. This means that you can remove the SD card from the box, plug it into your computer and immediately see your route on Google Earth. The circuit diagram for the components within the box is shown here. The box itself is 3D printed and the general arrangement of the box is shown here. The STL files for the box base and the box lid are listed below, as are the components that went into the box and also the library and sketch for the GPS tracker which is available on GitHub. Again, this is listed below. If we take a look at the uh, SD card, you will see there are two on the SD card. The first one is the GPS data, and the second, which is a text file, uh, contains some information regarding the overall stats of your trek. Uh, opening that up, um, you will see it gives us the total distance travelled, um, which in metres, the maximum altitude gained relative to the starting point, and the minimum altitude, again, relative to the starting point. If we open up the um, GPS data file, you will see the data there is arranged first of all as longitude, then latitude, and then the relative altitude. Relative altitude is relative to the start point. Now, the just above the 
data, there is a line that starts altitude mode and that is commented out. If you wish to plot the altitude on GPS or on Google Earth, then if you take out the exclamation mark minus minus at the start of the line and the minus minus at the end of the line, um, the uh, relative altitude will then plot onto Google Earth. In order to plot it, however, uh, accurately, you need a good 3D fix, which is at least six satellites. And this is the kind of plot that you would expect to see.